Michelle, what's going on outside? The kitty's outside. Oh my goodness. I get the most part has ever been outside, you guys. Like, in Alaska, we had a really big deck that he got to go out on, but to actually go outside in the grass? I don't know. Alright, Corey says, first time outside. <laughs> he likes it a lot. <laughs> so cool. That's Dada. That's Dada, yeah, and Sparta. He's eating. He's eating the grass, that's right. And unfortunately, you guys are really blurry, so let me take care of that. Are you helping me clean the camera? Thank you, Joe. Does it look clean? Good job, look how clean. So much better. Now we can really see what's going on out there. Sparta looks so just, I don't know, perplexed, but excited and it's probably like the best day of his life. Meanwhile, Penny is just like, please let me go too, please. Let's see how Mr. Atlas is doing. Sounds like he might be waking up. Yeah, waking up a little bit. I was holding him, but I had to go get Chell. Had to get our day started. Good morning. There's my good morning smile. <laughs> good morning. This is actually like, what, the third time you've woken up this morning? But I don't care. I still say good morning. <laughs> to get up, go out in the living room, get a new onesie on. Are you trying to teach him, Chell? Trying to talk to him? It's very good. I love their interactions. It's so cool. You made it inside. We made it. I actually had to pick him up because he didn't want to come inside. He was like, I love it out there, but I'm like, I know you do, but I can't stay out here with you all day. <laughs> you know, I, I really do think we need to take him out out there. Yeah, oh, he would love it. Oh, he was, I mean, he just smelled the flowers and, and ate a lot of grass. He's probably going to puke somewhere, not going to lie. <laughs> There's Sparta. Yeah. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> I was like, I got a little bit emotional though, because I was like, you know, I've had him all these years and I've never taken him yeah. out. And I've taken Loki out before, you know, and... And that was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I was just like, man, that, it's like all these things in life that he hasn't experienced. Like, yeah. I think I need to take him out. So I think I think what I'm gonna do is when the weather gets cooler, it's it's still kind of hot outside, but once it gets cooler, I wanna take him like to the park yeah. one day. Oh, or, that'd or be nature so nature walking, you know, and just have him close, you mm -hmm. know. And, but yeah, this is a this is a great harness, a lot of great reviews, and it's it feels really sturdy, and there's a lot of safeties on it, so. Good. Yep. All right, I can get the camera. Okay, Chell, I have to go to work now. I gotta go to work. I know how fun it is to swing on my leg. And it looks a lot of fun, but I gotta go to work. I know, I know it's hard. But though I do work at home, I still have to work. I still have to go to my own office. So, whoo! Time to go. Okay. <laughs> Dad is smiling. Chell's watching the video Corey made on Facebook, the live stream of him just sitting there smiling. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? That's right, that's Dada. That's Mama. Hi, Mama, yeah. Just Dada smiling. So you guys know that Chell loves the water, right? She loves swimming, she loves being in the bathtub, she loves all of it. Well, I never thought I would meet someone who loved water more than Chell. And then I met Atlas, this little guy who's actually looking at us through the mirror, loves, 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 loves his bath time. I mean, look at this kid. He's just chilling in there, just hanging out. Couldn't be happier. I always prop him upright in the tub and get his feet in the little net swing and he just 
kicks those feet out and lounges back. He just, he's gotta be as much in the water as humanly possible. I've always thought Corey would be an excellent swimmer and I think Atlas will be too, and Chell, because you know what, they have big feet, they have big wingspans, they have long arms. I think they could all just go through the water super fast. You ready to see the cutest thing ever? Hi. Hi, my adorable little boy. You are so cute. I love this outfit he has on so much. If you guys don't know, hi was Chell's first word, and I would be completely okay if that is his first word too, but he just looks so cute, doesn't he? I could just look at you all day, Atlas. I feel so, so terrible. Corey came down from working in his office and he's like, what, what's that smell? I was like, what do you mean the smell? He's like, I, it smells like something died. Isn't that what you said, Corey? It smells like a, like, like a mouse died. So I in the say, house and burned hair. oh, I'm cooking. And then he felt bad, <laughs> I felt but I was like, it's not my recipe, it's fine. But here's the thing. I'm making this like peanut chicken something dish that actually is gonna be pretty good, I think. But every time the cleaning people come, I will do this. The day after they come, guaranteed. Don't, like do it before they come. <laughs> I hate saying this, it sounds so, I've, I've apologized a million times, but. So we have some friends coming over for the very first time. Like after everything that has happened to the house made it all smell good, it just smells so bad. And I feel horrible, it's just, what an impression. <laughs> first impression they're coming over and the house smells like dead animals. Did you notice this, Corey? Did oh. you notice I was cooking rice and it just, yep, got that nice and dirty. Oh, uh, well. Every time. You know, uh, in, in a week, in, in, in two weeks, we'll have somebody over to deep clean that and we'll be okay. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's This is why we have a cleaning crew now. So, you know, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not like, I'm sorry for making our house smell like dead animals. Chell is ready for rice. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, my favorite shirt, my new favorite shirt just came in. I have to show you this. It's amazing. If you're a gamer nerd like me, you're gonna love this. Okay, Kristen, take the camera. You have to show it. Look at this. Look at this. It's like all the best weapons and arsenal from all of my favorite video games of all time. Like, I want to start naming them, but like, I kind of want to see if you guys can guess all the weapons. I own all of these games, even if I don't have the console. Uh, <laughs> that one right there. Yeah, like I own all of these games. They're so good. Actually, no, no, no. I do have this one. I do have this. Do game. you? Yes, I do. Wow. On DS. Nice. Go oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yes. How many of you guys can name all of these games? How many weapons are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are together. Seven, eight, and nine. See if you guys can guess all nine of these weapons. I know. I have them all. Guys, if you want to go follow us on Facebook, you know, go ahead, but just whatever, just do it at your own risk. Well, tonight was a lot of fun. Uh, my friends just left. Uh, I was gonna vlog it, but it would be <laughs> super inappropriate. I don't know, did I tell you guys about like the game that I came up with? It's uh, Charades Against Humanity. It's taking the Cards Against Humanity, the white cards that are like all super inappropriate, and trying to do charades with those. It was really fun and actually not as. Well, it's pretty. It was pretty dirty, but it, it, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But yeah, there's no way I'd be able to show this on YouTube uh, for obvious reasons. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We will see you in the next one tomorrow. I am going to be doing some noodling. It's fishing with your arms. You'll see. <laughs> Goodbye.